Hi boys and girls. I'm so glad that we get to do another sharing time today and I hope that you are having a wonderful Easter with your family and thinking about all the wonderful blessings that we have because of our Savior and that he died for us and that he lives again. I'm so happy that we get to be happy and then we get to have fun together. In fact, I think we should start out with if you're happy and you know it. So get everybody get ready. We're gonna clap our hands because we're ready and we're happy. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. All right. I want to do something else with this song today. I have some cards. Let's see. Can you see what this person is doing with their body? Do you think you could make your body look the same way? Let's see. I have to have my arms out like this and my foot up. Can you do that? If you're happy and you know it, go like this. If you're happy and you know it, go like this. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, go like this. How about this one? Can you do this one? Let's see. Got my feet apart. One hand goes down like this, and one hand goes up like this. I don't know how I'm going to hold this and do that. If you're happy and you know it, go like this. If you're happy and you know it, go like this. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, go like this. <laughs> how about this one? Let's see. How does he do that one? Looks like his knees kind of bent. The other one's out, and his, his arms are out, like this. If you're happy and you know it, go like this. If you're happy and you know it, go like this. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, go like this. All right, I'm going to do all three for you now. So, when I hold up a card, you make your body look like this. All right, here we go. If you're happy and you know it, go like this. If you're happy and you know it, go like this. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, go like this. How did you do? That's great. I'm glad we got up and moving. Do you know something else that makes me happy? Have you seen all the wonderful spring weather? Have you been outside with your family a little bit? I have too. And whenever I'm outside and I see the beautiful birds, or I hear the beautiful birds, I see them too, huh? And I look at the plants. Can you see them starting to come up out of the ground? I remember that my Heavenly Father loves me. And I remember a song that I love to sing about my Heavenly Father who loves me. Sing this one with me, and if you want to, do the actions that I do too. Or you can just sway.
love this time of year when spring is starting to come around and all those little reminders that Heavenly Father loves us are everywhere. And I hope you feel that when you're outside, especially on this Easter Sunday. So I wanted to do a few more things that have to do with Easter. Do you remember last week we sang a song about the prophecies that long ago prophets knew that Jesus Christ was going to be born. The prophecies of long ago were now at last fulfilled. You know what? I have these in the wrong order. <laughs> let's see. Do you remember? Let's start, let's start it this way. Let's start with the chorus. Do you remember that word Hosanna? Hosanna, blessed be the name of the Most High God. Hosanna, blessed be the name of the Most High God. That's the same thing repeated two times. Let's do it one more time. Get your hands up and we'll sing Hosanna. You ready? Hosanna, blessed be the name of the Most High. job. So now we're going to sing it and I will get my pictures in order as we sing it. Are you ready? This is about Easter time. Well, remember this song is about when Jesus appeared to the Nephites. I think I have them in the right order now. right there for a minute before we go on to the next verse. Who remembers? What does the word Hosanna mean? Hosanna! Hosanna! It means it's a way we can praise Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ, but it also means save us. We really need your help. We really need our Heavenly Father to save us because we can repent from our sins, but we still need his power of the atonement to make us clean. And so that we're clean and ready to go back and live with our Heavenly Father. So we really need him. And that's why the people were shouting, Hosanna, blessed be the name of the Most High God. Sing it with me. Hosanna, blessed be the name of the Most High God. Now, let's sing the second verse. Remember, the people saw Jesus Christ. He came down from heaven. They were called the people of the promised land. Jesus Christ appeared to me fight in the promised land. The righteous people saw his works and came to understand that he was the So when Jesus Christ was on the earth, 
He died and he was crucified. And then he was laid in a tomb for three days. I'm sure you've talked about this with your family. So for, the, for Friday and Saturday and Sunday, he was in the tomb. His body was in the tomb, but his spirit had gone up to meet with the people in the spirit world. But then an amazing thing happened that had never happened before to anyone. Jesus' spirit came back to his body that was in the tomb, and it made his body alive again. And he was able to walk and talk and teach people on earth once again. And we know that he visited his friends in Jerusalem, but we also know that he came to the people of the Book of Mormon, the Nephites and the Lamanites, the people that had repented. And listen to Samuel the Lamanite, remember him? The people that repented, they got to see Jesus Christ. And he came down up from heaven like this. He came down in a... In a a, uh, a pool of light and he taught the people too there's a part of Book of Mormon stories that talks about Jesus coming and visiting the people of the Americas I want to play it for you and then we'll learn it okay all right this one is the very last verse and he taught in the land all right here's the one about Jesus Christ After Christ was crucified and died for you and me. He came forth to teach the truth to all who would be free. Hands were laid upon each child, he blessed them tenderly. And they lived in the land righteously. See if we can learn that together. So here is whoops, kind of got them all mixed up. Here we go. So here is Jesus. After Christ was crucified and died for you and me. Can you sing it with me? Here he is being crucified. After Christ was crucified and died for you and me. Good. My turn. Came forth to teach the truth to all who would believe. Look at these guys. These are the Nephites. The people in the Americas. Look, they've got a temple behind them. You know, like some temples you find in South America. So here he is coming to the people of Nephi. He came forth to teach the truth to all who would believe. What did he come forth to teach? Listen again. He came forth to teach something. He came forth to teach the truth to all who would believe. Did you say he came to teach truth? That's right. He came forth to teach the truth to all who would believe. Do these guys look like they believe in him? I think so. Yeah, good. Then, look at what is Jesus doing here? Putting his hands. Hands were placed upon each child. Who got to have their hands placed on them? It was each child, huh? Hands were placed upon each child. He blessed them tenderly. And they lived in the land righteous. Wouldn't that be amazing? I want you to look at these pictures. Can you see the people? These are angels that came out of the sky. And here's Jesus. And those angels surrounded the children. And look at that. They don't look like they're afraid. They look like they're happy. They look like they're so grateful to be there. And they feel so loved. How would you feel if you were one of those children? And you got to see Jesus and be blessed by him? be real special, huh? All right, let's sing this whole verse together. Let's see if I got my pictures in the right order. We'll sing it one time without the music and then one time with. Here we go. After Christ was crucified and died for you and me, he came forth to teach the truth to all who would believe. Hands were placed upon each child. 
He blessed them tenderly, and they lived in the land righteously. In fact, did you know that people were so amazed at um, the wonderful experience that they had with Jesus that they were no longer wicked, not anybody, for hundreds of years. That's a long time. That's longer than I've lived. For hundreds of years, the people lived righteously because they had Jesus come and visit him. I think I would want to be good all the time if Jesus came and visited me too. All right, let's sing with, this, with the music. Here we go. All right, here's the last verse. good inside when I think about the Savior and how loving he was to come and be with the people uh, of the Nephites. And um, I just know that he will come again someday. And I'm sure he will bless his little children just like you. Maybe I'll get to watch too if I'm there. Um, I know that he will come again just like he did to the Nephites. All right. Let's see. I think we have time to do all of the Book of Mormon verses that we know. All right. Do you remember we did one about Abinadi? And we did one about Samuel the Lamanite? All right. Here we go. I'm going to do the first verse with the music. Then we'll pause it and do all the other ones. You ready? Here we go. Do the actions with me. Just learn today. love learning about those stories in the Book of Mormon, and I'm so glad that Jesus came to the Book of Mormon people, too. We can read about that in the Book of Mormon. All right. I have a really special picture to show you. Actually, two of them. All right. Here's this picture. This is a picture. 
picture out. This is Jesus. And what does he have right here? He has some bread. And he's doing what with it? That's how Jesus wanted us to remember. This is when he, he started the sacrament. And he wanted us to remember him because as his as the bread was broken, so was his body broken on the cross and in the Garden of Gethsemane. And then here, look, there's the blue bread here. And that's to remind us that Jesus shed his blood for us too. And because he did these things, we can be forgiven of our sins and we can be resurrected and live with our Heavenly Father again someday. Here's another picture of Jesus that I really like. Do you know Jesus said that he loved us so much that he would die for us and he would ser and he served us, right? And he taught because he loved. And then, do you know what he asks you and me to do? We don't have to die for other people. Well, in fact, we can't. Only Jesus could do that. But he asks us to love one another as he loved us. And when we love other people and serve them and make their lives happier or easier or um, help them learn about the Savior, then we are acting just like Jesus did. We are serving and loving as he did. So I wanted to end with the song, As I Have Loved You, Love One Another. And that's Jesus talking to us. He says, As I Have Loved You, Love One Another. You can sit really close to the people in your family. Maybe put your arms around them so you can really feel that love that our Savior has for each one of us, especially on this Easter day. love for you and I hope that you're able to share his love with other people especially those in your family right now make sure that they know how much you love them and that's doing exactly what Jesus would do if he were there he would want everybody in your family to know how much they love you and I love you too and so does sister Haddock the primary president and sister Olson and sister Mackie other people and your primary teachers we love you so much we're so glad you're part of our primary. Have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you later.